For over a century, aviation has relied on traditional methods of flight control, including flaps, rudders, and ailerons. These moving parts, while effective, come with limitations such as increased drag, maintenance needs, and radar visibility. However, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has unveiled an innovative project that could transform the very foundation of aircraft design. The Crane Program, which introduces a new form of flight control using compressed air, promises to break aviation's traditional rules and offer solutions that could change the future of air travel and military defense. The vision behind Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Crane Program, at the heart of this groundbreaking initiative, is Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Crane Program, a $200 million project aimed at developing a revolutionary drone that eliminates the need for conventional control surfaces in aircraft. Instead of relying on flaps, rudders, and ailerons, the aircraft uses precisely controlled bursts of compressed air released through nozzles across the airframe. These bursts manipulate the airflow, allowing the aircraft to control its direction, altitude, and speed without traditional mechanical parts. This program represents a significant departure from over 120 years of aviation tradition, dating back to the Wright brothers' first flight. The compressed air system presents a future where aircraft control is achieved not through mechanical movement, but through sophisticated air management, reshaping how we think about flying machines. Key Benefits of the Compressed Air System One of the primary advantages of this system is its potential to reduce drag. Traditional control surfaces create aerodynamic resistance, making flight less efficient. By removing these components and utilizing compressed air, the aircraft could significantly reduce drag, improving fuel efficiency and performance. Additionally, the lack of moving parts means that maintenance needs will decrease dramatically, resulting in substantial cost savings for both military and commercial operators. Moreover, the new system offers a huge leap in stealth technology. Traditional aircraft control surfaces, made from metal, reflect radar signals, making the aircraft easily detectable by enemy radar systems. By removing these surfaces, the new design reduces its radar cross-section, potentially making the aircraft much more difficult to detect and track. This stealth advantage could have significant implications for military aviation, enhancing the effectiveness of both reconnaissance and combat missions. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's partner, Aurora Flight Sciences. Aurora Flight Sciences, a subsidiary of Boeing, has been tasked with bringing this concept to life. The company's expertise in autonomous systems and previous work with Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, including the development of the X-24A Lightning Strike aircraft, made them an ideal partner for this ambitious project. Aurora's background in creating cutting-edge autonomous vehicles is instrumental in developing the computer systems needed to control a complex air management system. The bio-inspired nature of the system. This innovative air management system takes inspiration from nature. Birds, for example, adjust the position of their feathers mid-flight to maintain stability and control. In the same way, the X-65 aircraft uses air nozzles placed across the surface to make micro-adjustments in the airflow, providing precise control over the vehicle's movements. Instead of mechanical parts, the system relies on advanced computer algorithms to adjust air pressure thousands of times per second, allowing the aircraft to respond quickly to any changes in flight conditions. The three phases of the X-65 development. The development of the X-65 is split into three key phases, the first phase tested a scaled-down model in wind tunnels to evaluate the compressed air system's behavior in real-world conditions. Using advanced sensors and high-speed cameras, engineers gathered data on airflow, pressure, and stability, exceeding expectations. The second phase focuses on achieving higher speeds, including approaching the speed of sound. This phase is challenging due to varying altitudes and temperatures, requiring flight software capable of split-second decisions. The final phase involves building a full-scale 7,000-pound version, testing whether the technology can scale for real-world use. The modular design allows for easy testing of different configurations, adapting the aircraft for various missions without redesigning it entirely. The X-65's unique design and appearance The design of the X-65 is as innovative as its technology. Its dual-wing configuration, tilted at specific angles, resembles the iconic X-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. While this resemblance is striking, it is not entirely coincidental. Some even suggest that the X-65's designation is a subtle nod to the fictional fighter. However, the design is not just about aesthetics, it serves a functional purpose. 
The aircraft houses a powerful jet engine that drives the airflow system, and the nozzles are strategically placed across the airframe to maintain precise control. The X-65 also incorporates advanced composite materials that are stronger and lighter than traditional aerospace metals. These materials allow the aircraft to withstand the stresses of high-speed flight, while housing the complex network of air channels and nozzles. Engineers had to solve complex problems such as preventing moisture buildup in the air channels and ensuring that air pressure is evenly distributed across all the nozzles. These innovations make the X-65 an engineering marvel that could shake the future of flight. Challenges in developing the new technology Despite its many advantages, the development of the X-65 technology faces several challenges. One of the primary hurdles is ensuring that the compressed air system can respond as quickly and reliably as traditional mechanical systems. The technology must be energy efficient enough to be practical for real-world applications, particularly in the context of commercial aviation, where fuel efficiency and operational cost are critical concerns. Moreover, the compressed air system must be robust enough to handle extreme weather conditions, from desert heat to freezing cold. It also needs to prove its durability over long periods of use. The engineers at Aurora Flight Sciences and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency are working tirelessly to overcome these obstacles, with the goal of having a fully functional prototype ready for test flights by 2025. Future Implications for Military and Commercial Aviation The X-65's potential applications extend far beyond experimental aircraft. If successful, this technology could redefine both military and commercial aviation. In the military sector, AFC technology could provide a significant advantage by improving the stealth capabilities of aircraft, making them less detectable by radar. In addition, the reduction in drag and maintenance costs could make military operations more efficient and cost-effective. For commercial aviation, the benefits are equally compelling. By eliminating traditional control surfaces, the X-65's design could improve fuel efficiency and reduce operating costs for airlines. Studies suggest that the widespread adoption of AFC technology could save millions of gallons of fuel annually, with a corresponding reduction in carbon emissions. Furthermore, the elimination of moving parts would reduce the need for regular maintenance, lowering operational costs and downtime for aircraft. Beyond aviation, the broader applications of AFC technology. While the primary focus of the Crane program is aviation, the technology behind active flow control has far-reaching implications. Researchers are already exploring how AFC principles can be applied in other industries. Wind turbine manufacturers, for example, are investigating how AFC technology could improve efficiency and reduce maintenance costs. Formula One racing teams are studying how AFC systems could enhance vehicle aerodynamics, while even submarine designers are exploring how the technology might be adapted for underwater vehicles. The potential of active flow control technology is not limited to flight. Scientists are exploring the use of plasma actuators, which use electrical energy to ionize air molecules and create control forces. These systems could be even more energy efficient than compressed air, offering faster response times and requiring less power to operate. The development of these systems could further accelerate the adoption of active flow control in various industries. Active flow control technology's future in aviation the next decade will likely see significant advancements in active flow control technology, with military drones possibly entering service by 2030. The first commercial applications may follow shortly after, starting with cargo aircraft. As the technology proves itself in military applications, it is expected that commercial airlines will gradually adopt it, starting with freight and cargo planes before expanding to passenger aircraft. The X-65 is more than just a prototype, is a testbed for future innovations in aviation. As the program progresses and engineers overcome the remaining challenges, AFC technology could eventually become a standard feature in both military and commercial aircraft. The shift away from traditional control surfaces could lead to new aircraft designs that are more fuel efficient, stealthier, and easier to maintain, ushering in a new era of aviation technology. Thanks for watching, folks. If you think this compressed air powered X65 is cool, Wait until your next flight. No flaps, no rudders, just air. Who knew we'd all be flying around in real life Star Wars X-Wings one day? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Because trust me, you'll want to tell your friends about this future of aviation before they do.